Hi guys, just a quick video to give you an idea of what I'm doing to decorate these cups. Now, Monica has asked me to do one. Now, I can't say that I'm showing you my process because I actually haven't developed a process yet. This is all sort of learning as I go. So I'll just keep you in the loop and let you see where I'm up to, even though I'm sure it will evolve into something a little bit more methodical further down the track so what I start out with is just really striping up the cup I am using brushes I used to drip onto um, vases and things like that this it's actually logical I should have been doing it all along this just gives slightly more control. We still have our renegade drips flying around everywhere, but we can sort of pacify them a little bit with the brush. I've contaminated this hollow, putting the wrong brush into it. So that will also be part of the trial and error. You can see the the pink happening now I've got to keep in mind the lip area if I accidentally go over and I mean you know I go into a world of my own so I'm highly likely to do it um, you can wipe it back off to just plain ceramic when you're done um, normally what I do is I paint these stripes up or little sections up and then I come back a couple of hours later um, with some alcohol and tip it on carefully so that I corrupt all of these lines and give them a more organic look. Now, clearly for video, I can't do that. Not that I'm doing a one part video. Just put my finger in it around the back. I'll have to fix that in a sec. This part. I did it again. I put my brush in the bottle and not in the, the ink. Oopsies. I didn't get to bed till four o'clock this morning, so I'm gonna blame it on that. Although we all know a little bit better. Okay. Just doing a couple of greens and an aquary sort of colour. can certainly see the pink in that hollow. see the rainbow coming through already you can't see the rainbow while the ink is wet at all it's as it dries so sometimes you'll think oh my goodness it's not doing anything 
if you're working on the right surface that definitely will do something now the suitable surfaces are acetate clear acetate it looks beautiful on poly art glass it looks lovely on really highly gloss ceramics it looks lovely on especially the black which we you know only just discovered um, ceramic tile paper it looks lovely on ceramic tiles it looks lovely on as long as they're nice high gloss um, I painted a couple of mugs last night early hours of this morning <laughs> um, and they were more of a matte ceramic not a dry mat um, and I struggled getting the rainbow to to sort of shine but when I finally got it on in the right proportions it was actually really interesting and Sati pointed out to me that it was a lot like the oxidization that takes place when you add your various chemicals to your clay before firing or when you coat your clay with the different things that we do in ceramics. Uh, we used to do raku in the outside kiln with a lot of smoke um, and that would just create the most beautiful oxidized finishes. Well the, the a holographic ink on the matte black looks like it's emulating that sort of you know in, in, in a vague but good enough way that we'll pursue that further because it'd be lovely to be able to sort of make our own um, oxidization effects without having to kiln do all of the the expensive pottery ways of doing it so yeah that opens maybe up some potential for for doing you know sophisticated pottery techniques cold now I'm just gonna dab little bits in where it's white just take advantage of that get a little bit of shine happening I'm doing a video sweetheart bits wherever I see white and you know if I was doing something meticulous of course I'd get a brush that was a better size however I'm going to absolutely nuke this in a second anyway I think part of this fiddling around is just that I really love sitting here doing this sort of thing it's very soothing And what I'm going to do actually, since I've got this landscapey sort of look thing happening again, um, and I see a little bit of white all along the top of these ridges here, I'm just going to add some blue to it because I can. And see what happens with that. Okay, we'll pretend that it's two hours. Now this ink is going to flow a lot more freely without any setting. It, it definitely makes a difference, I've, you know, through trial, I've noticed that. Um, now, instead of doing straight alcohol, I'm going to be... A little bit adventurous this time because our our inks are incredibly pigment heavy in fact they don't need to be this heavy so you know feel free to maybe not as radical as I've just done here but feel free to add some of this ink to alcohol in a different container to extend it because especially on the white ceramics it, it seems to fare well very lightly 
So instead of just alcohol, I'm going to add this as if the same way as if I had added alcohol, just to keep that pigment running through everything. It's still going to wash it back and fade it out. And I will have to come back into the top and put in more of the, the hollow afterwards. But this is just to deliberately break those lines into an organic look. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Now around the back I'll get a rude shot because that's where all the the drips will be going and doing their own thing and sometimes their own thing is not too bad. It's very pale so I could have added a little less. Oh I actually quite like the abstract look of these little drippy things. I'll just play with those for a second whether I'm going to keep them or not. I'm actually going to be a bit daring and drip a little bit the other way. Let's see if I can pull some of that colour back up. But if you get to a situation like this where you're going, oh, this is a lot paler than I thought it would be, add some more ink. Or do things like this running it backwards there's no rules as I say there's actually no process yet so you know somebody will end up making rules one day I'm just gonna put a little bit in and then I'll corrupt it again too just to get some more colour going and then be a little bit more modest with the amount I put on this time. Now I better find myself some color that I haven't um, diluted a lot just to get a little bit more solid stuff happening in that sky. Hang on one sec. Now I know it's going to drip onto the the lip area however I think it does need to be a little bit thicker up there extent of the, the rainbow effect, of course, isn't really fulfilled until it dries. Now, I'm going to leave it at that. 
got to decide whether I want to touch that or not. Actually, you know what? I don't think I will. If there's one thing that I do really well, it's mess up things that perhaps I shouldn't have touched. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some, wipe some alcohol onto that lip area, clean it up, take it back to where I'd like to have it. You can see by this, the hollow starts to to grip the cup pretty well. You know, after a bit of time, which is why I say leaving it for two hours between painting it on and then coming back in with the alcohol, I do get nicer effects and I do have more control it just holds a little bit harder but for the purpose of the video we don't need to worry about that now as I'm doing this I'm looking at that handle thinking am I going to wipe it back and have a white handle or do I go in with more ink? And I think I'm going to choose the white handle. I did one a second ago and left the handle white. And I actually quite like it. So, oh, there you are. You can leave an intimation of colour too if you want. It's not such a bad look. Now, I have some little cotton bud paddles, um, Q-tips they are over there. I don't know if you've got the paddle ones. They're a really useful shape. I don't even know whether I, where I got them or if I can get more. Now we're in a pretty shaded spot here, so I hope you can see the rainbow effect. I'll walk over to the other side of the room in a second and we'll have a look at it under light. Then I will seal it with some Kema. Not the lip piece though, and you can put tape around and if you want to get really finicky with your little wiggly lines, if you choose to do those, just stick some blue tack in because you can get it in the exact shape and you know, you can get it so cheap at the dollar stores, you can throw out the little bits that you use to keep your nice lines. 